Okay, so in this problem, we're going to look at another max and minimum problem. So again, it's going to be kind of use calculus to find the maximum or minimum of an equation and get the best solution to a problem. Okay, so in this one here, imagine a big square of cardboard like this, where the corners have been cut out. So a perfect square has been cut out of the corner where that side is x centimeter and that is also x centimeter. Um, and basically, you can fold this up then to make a box. So if I draw a dotted line down like this, and across there and there there okay so you can imagine each one of this is the side of the box so if you fold that up fold this in fold that up and fold that up you'll have an open box okay and the question is what dimensions give us the maximum volume of this box and what is that maximum volume okay so if we were look back to our first video at our four steps the first step is to find an equation for the maximum volume so to do this I'm going to draw a picture first and this is something you'll have to do quite often as well as draw a picture and here we go All it has to be is a rough sketch now, uh, like that there, okay? So it doesn't have to be perfectly square or whatever, like as long as you, you get the idea. So now, how do you find the volume of this box? So I'm going to say V is equal to, I don't know, length multiplied by width multiplied by height. So L, W, and H. So what are the length, the width, and the height? Okay, so this is the kind of hard bit, but this, this problem comes up quite a lot. Um, so definitely know how to do this. So the height... If you think of this, this corner there is the same as that corner there. And the di difference between that and that is X centimeters. And that's the same as that distance there. Okay, so that's basically the height of the box is given by X centimeters. Hopefully that's clear. Um, X centimeters is the height. And now this bit as well. So this is going to be the side of the box. So that length there, where I'm tracing with the pen, is the same as that length there. So now it's about finding this length. So we know that this whole thing here is 30 centimeters. We know that that is x centimeters and that is x centimeters. So therefore, this bit here in the middle is going to be 30 centimeters minus this x and minus this x. So it's going to be 30 centimeters minus 2x. Okay? So that's the height. So 30 minus 2x. That's that side. And then this side also has a length of 30 minus 2x. Okay, so they're the dimensions of our box in terms of x. So I'm going to write that out. This is going to be, I'll just put a little one around it. This is our step one. V is equal to x. Or you could actually, I guess you could call this step one and this step two. Because now we're writing it all in one term. Okay. Um, and then 30 minus 2x and 30 minus 2x. Okay, so I'm going to work that out. Let's make sure that's a 2 actually as well. Yep, V is equal to, so leave the X to the last, it's going to be 900 minus 120X plus 4X squared, and then V is equal to 900X minus 120X squared plus 4X cubed. Okay, this is step two, now we have our volume in terms of X. Now step three, if you remember, is to differentiate it. I'm going to do that down here. I'm going to do a little three. So dv dx. So it looks a little bit like a u, but v anyway, dv dx is going to be equal to 900 minus 240x plus 12x squared. Okay? And again, when we want to find the maximum or the minimum, we're going to let this equal to zero because we're looking for the turning points. Okay, so let's go down a little bit. 900 minus 240x plus 12x squared is equal to zero. I'm going to try and divide everything here by 12. And that'll give me 75 minus 20x plus x squared is equal to zero. I'm just going to rewrite that. x squared minus 20x plus 75 is equal to zero. Okay, so we want to solve this for x. So we'll find our two values that give us a turning point or a maximum or the minimum. So it's going to be x minus 5 and x minus 15 equal to 0. And that means x is going to be equal to 5 or x is going to be equal to 15. Okay, so these are our two values that give us our turning points. Now, this is the question where we're going to have to look at the second derivative because we have two values here, so we don't know which one is which. So what we're going to have to do is 
Uh, so this is, uh, it isn't in the kind of set of steps, but you do have to do it if you want to find the maximum or the minimum. So I'm going to find, so this is dv dx, so then d2v dx squared is going to be equal to minus 240 plus 24x. Okay, so then we're going to find this. We're going to find d2v dx squared at x is equal to 5 and at x is equal to 15. So I'm going to say x is equal to 5. This is going to be equal to, so I'll have minus 240 plus 24 by 5, which is going to be equal to minus 120. And then x is equal to 15 is equal to minus 240 plus 24, 15. Okay, so we just sub our value of x and, I, and x here into d2 v dx squared, find what's equal to, and this is gonna be plus 120. Okay, so I'll do this in red now. So this here is negative. That means it's decreasing. Sorry, ignore that little there. And then that means it's going like that shape there, which means it's a maximum. Okay, and this is the opposite. This isn't going to mean it's a minimum. Uh, if we go through all the steps, we don't need to because this is what we're concerned with the, the maximum. So x is equal to 5 is our, <coughs> excuse me, x is equal to 5 is our maximum values. That's what we're looking for. So what are the dimensions that give the maximum value then? Are going to be x and then 30 minus 2x and 30 minus 2x. So I'm just going to write these in here. So it's going to be 5, I'll put it in a square. 30 minus 2x, so 30 minus 2 times x is going to be 20. And this is going to be 20 as well. Okay, so there, they are the dimensions that give the maximum volume. And now step four then, uh, sorry for this being a bit messy, I'm just going to do this in here, this little box. Step four is going to be the yellow. Again, so we have the volume is going to be equal to the length by the width by the height, like this here, 5, 20, and 20. So it's going to be equal to 20, 20, and 5. That means the volume is going to be equal to 2,000 centimeters cubed. And there is our final answer. Okay, so hopefully that made sense. Again, it's just following the same steps, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, to find our maximum or our minimum value that gives us the solution, okay? So again, hopefully that makes sense, and yeah, we'll see you next time.